I can't I can't control them as well as I want to though because I can't carry them. That's another problem we've been having. One of her many insecurities is that she can't control the babies. <gasps> Hunter, um, you're back. Hello. Okay, well I'm going to come over here. I'm gonna sit down and I suppose whisper this conversation out because I don't want to trouble the puppies. Hunter, I need you to look at me face to face. I think he just has a hard time dealing with difficult topics. Truthfully, he has been looking at her a little bit differently now, but it's not because of her injury. Her insecurities have been making her behave a lot different from how she used to be. She's felt distant for a while now, and now with all these doubts, the whole time I think he thought that maybe she didn't love him anymore. He thought the best method to deal with this was to just let it pass, let her have her moment, but in the end it did ultimately make things worse, and for that, he is sorry. They both think so highly of each other that, as a result, they're very critical of themselves. <gasps> my major injury to my jaw healed? What perfect timing. She's finally able to do so many things she hasn't been able to before. And honestly, I wonder if it was part of that conversation that helped. They both love each other so much that they don't give themselves enough love. And as a result of that, it actually does affect the relationship. But I think now that we know that, things will go a little bit more smooth. Here, Hunter, you know what? I'm sorry for all that drama. I know, it was completely unnecessary. <laughs> but it was on both of us for not communicating properly. We both were too scared to bring it up and hoped it would just pass. But then eventually our feelings became too much. And we ended up behaving like a bunch of high schoolers. <laughs> Middle schoolers, even. Are they trying to steal my territory right now? Excuse me? Who are you? Yeah, they're trying to steal my territory. This is my first time seeing you guys. I never back down from a fight. Uh -huh. Jerks? Let me see. If any of you are the leaders, you're going down. Silver tip. Pack leader. Okay. Dead. Where are you? You. You trying to steal my territory right under my nose. Oh, okay, this guy's pretty fast. I'm taking him down. This isn't my first time killing a pack leader. I am pretty sleepy, though. I'll just have to do it quick, then. Die. Hard. They took almost the entire tile too, like I'm having a hard time catching up. Okay, you know, I'll save that for another day. But mark my words, if you come back here, I will kill you. Rotor Danger isn't joking. There's a lot to do right now, and I don't know how to do it all. I have to get the territory, I have to deal with the new enemies. To feed the puppies, move to a new den. I don't know how I'm gonna manage it all. And I think someone just got sick. <sighs> Did two of you just get sick? <gasps> Hearth? And who's the other one? Hello? Hearth and Tempest? No. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to do right now. Um, let me think. There is a lot going on. Oh, and they stole those two tiles, the jerks. They're putting a huge dent in my territory. Now it's this weird shape. I am glad that things are starting to get better between Hunter and Rhododendron. We don't have a lot of time to work on our relationship because there's a lot going on. But just having that conversation feels like it helped tremendously. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Hello everyone and welcome to the actual episode of Rhododendron. I realize now what the problem was with the audio. I had plugged in a controller to play Hades 2 and um, it messed with all the audio settings and it was using my speaker instead of my microphone I think and that's what was capturing the audio so it was trash. But I fixed it and I even double checked and made sure and thank goodness I did because I forgot to plug in my microphone. 
So yeah, I'm basically just going to have to be extremely careful every time I start a recording now. I'm always going to double check, which is a good thing to do. You should always do that. Anyway, um, I suppose we're all sleepy right now. We still got our two sick puppies, Hearth and Tempest. Hearth is wandering around. I need you all to go to sleep. Our big goal right now is just to get to the new den. And it's going to be a bit rough. Here, all of you go in the grass first, please. And I can hear the silver tip trying to steal our territory back there. We're going to have to do something about them and soon. But we've got so many other things to do. Before I could even get started on my next move, we have to have a home base. Uh, okay, that's a mother deer, everyone. Uh, in the grass here. Oh, that's the baby! Ah! No! Steal a baby, then maybe she'll run. <laughs> the one piece of grass I tried to put them in. Okay, but you know, that's good. Everyone can eat now. Um, here, Holly, you can come out. <laughs> Thankfully, nobody got ran over. That's a good... L hey! He went and took it from all the babies. You better feed them. You didn't even eat the whole thing. Here you go, kids. Eat to your little heart's content. Hearth is still catching up, the poor little sweet thing. I need to pick you up. Ah. <gasps> ah. Oh. Okay. Get out. Oh my goodness. Too much. Okay, you guys can come out again. What is happening? Oh, ice cream is letting the rest eat. Even- oh, I know she's full, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> okay, Hunter. Okay, he did give them some food, excellent, thank you. Hmm. I wonder if I should go after that cow elk. Maybe. I'll wait until they're all done eating, just in case. Thank you, Hunter, for feeding them. The only thing is, I don't want to starve to death. <laughs> Oh, is that the same mother elk? What are you doing? Your baby's gone. Ooh, yeah. Good job, Hunter. I was gonna go get it too. We have the same exact idea. <laughs> there we go. This might take a minute because she's pretty good health, but I think we can do it. What the heck? Oh, that was a bison that just growled at me just now. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're actually almost right next to where our future den is going to be. Awesome, I could just steal this tile as well. Perfection. And we got food right next to it. Come on, stop looking at me. I want that leg. Hunter! I saw him, he's here. Bite her. Bite her. Taking a sweet time coming across that hill. Do it. I'm waiting for you to bite her. Ah! The right leg. Yes! I basically did this on my own. He's just here for security. And uh, to help me finish the job. Oh! My health. Thanks for helping me finish it. I need to eat so bad. I knew I was going to have to take a big risk. That's just the way things are right now. Let's mark this off. And also steal this tile. Was a long and arduous hunt, but it was worth it. Oh, someone's better. Hars, but Tempest is still sick. Wait, oh Tempest too. Okay, that was the easiest thing ever. 
And what are they at? 39 and 38%. Wow, they're just very strong babies, aren't they? Everyone is over 15 pounds except for Holly. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's all get going to our new home. I'll feed you guys once we get there. But things are finally starting to look up. I think that was the least sickness has ever given us trouble. I barely had to look after them. Maybe they looked after each other while I was gone. I still find it so odd that sometimes you can hear beehives when you walk past the trees, but you can't see a beehive. I think that would be interesting. What if you could steal honey from like a bear or something, if you're strong enough? That would be cool. And then you, you could give your babies honey. We could feed honey to honey. Hello, home. Yay! And now, hopefully, we can just sit here peacefully and enjoy all that summer has to offer. With the abundance of newborn prey, very nice weather, and lots of beautiful open space to run in, filled with lush grass. <sighs> Maybe we're- I think we are just going to take a little bit of a step back, unless these guys start trying to steal even more of what we have. In that case, we would have to start a war. It's only a potential option right now. But I would rather just enjoy my summer. Oh, a mother prawn horn. We must be close to her baby. Mm. There it is. <laughs> Got it. Will you leave us alone now? Yep, it's over. We always end up sitting next to them. You can leave now. Your baby's gone. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't stay here any longer. Opal, what are you doing back here? Oh, you passed out. <laughs> was wondering. Where are, are all the babies doing different things? You guys are confusing me. One, two, three, four, and I'm assuming the other three are in the den? One, two, three, four, five. Ah! That's definitely the reds. Who are you? Ah. Oh. Protecting the babies. <gasps> no! Hearth! I tried everything I could. I was all alone. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. You jerk. The white one's the one that killed Hearth. Where is it? You're dead. I'm not letting you walk out of here alive. Eh. You're not making it! Hearth just recovered from his sickness! My poor little baby's life had just begun and you took it from him so I'll take yours if I can freaking catch up but I'm not gonna give up oh I hear my babies howling for him they're the silver tip they followed us all the way out here I thought it was the red pack oh my god okay that that's war then you just started this I was trying to get away from you guys so I wouldn't have to fight one. And then you come and you take my children from me? That is unacceptable. I just can't believe they followed us all the way out here just to do that. Okay, well. 
As you can see, I followed them all the way back to their territory, and I've been putting up a fierce fight. I've almost got this one low, but just now, I received a jaw injury. A major one, I think, which has me worried that I definitely won't be able to kill her. Not today. And I'm very low myself in their territory. So as much as I hate to do this, I think I'm going to have to let her go. And I'm going to have to hunt her down later. Let's write her down. Oh, it's one of the pack leaders, is it? Well, I'm going to call her prey because I'm going to hunt her down. You put up a huge fight road engine, you almost took out the leader in one go. But we're going to have to wait until we're stronger to launch a proper attack. And next time we're going to bring Hunter with us. I always wanted to just spend a peaceful summer with my family. But they pushed the limits. And they took what was most precious to us. Poor sweet hearth. I really wanted to see the next spring with all seven of my puppies. But this world is cruel and the other wolves in it even crueler it seems. And that dream got taken away from us. Well... I'm just heading home now, but we're going to have to end it here for now. <laughs> what a dramatic episode. I am very, very, very sad about Hearth. Oh, and he was the one that I named myself, my sweet little boy. He just recovered from the sickness. Ugh. But we're going to have to leave it there for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.